Alright guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be getting rid of the gravity fruit that we used in the last video. And in today's video, we're gonna switch to another fruit. Luckily for me, I have it in my inventory, so I don't need Spec and Rexway to spoil me. So, uh, let's go ahead and unstore this bad boy, and we're gonna go ahead and eat it. So, this is called the rubber fruit. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who uses this fruit in One Piece. And this is actually, uh, Rectway and Spec's personal favorite fruit. It's like the thing that, you, you know, it's long and stretchy. Yo, what are you talking about, dude? I'm talking about the rubber fruit. That's your guys' favorite fruit. It's long and stretchy. Yeah, you but yours is long and stretchy? Yeah, my rubber fruit is long and stretchy. Is there a problem with it? You're weird, dude. Let's go ahead and get the blocks fruit roll, and let's see what I get from here. Hopefully, I get myself something good. Maybe my luck is crazy. Oh, yo. I did get a pretty good fruit. Let's go. But I do know somebody that would appreciate this fruit more than me. Yo, what's up, Rexway? Bro, why are you looking at me? I have this fruit for you. Why are you trying to give me the low fruit? And why is Spec right in front of me trying to snag it? Oh, don't show Spec. He'll get jealous. He'll get jealous. Here, here. Take it. Take I, it. I know, I know, I know. Hey, Spec. You want some love? I don't want your men love. What? Bro, what? <laughs> I was talking about men love. So after that little sus moment Rectway and Spec had, we're going to go ahead and look at the rubber fruit. So apparently I used this fruit a couple times. I have it mastery 11, but I haven't unlocked any abilities yet, which is really weird. I don't know why this fruit doesn't have a mastery one ability. I'm not sure how you you would level it up oh you just punch okay so you would level it up by punching with it since you have no abilities you have a tap ability click ability interesting so this is gonna be pretty difficult i'm not gonna lie but i'm actually very curious to see how good this fruit is because it's the main character's fruit so let's see how it goes once we go ahead and kill cake queen all right guys before we go kill cake queen what do you guys think about my big long stretchy thing what are you talking about bro what you That's don't what like I think about it Bro, oh. what? Why is that kind of dough on me, bro? Go away, emo boy with your crows. I'd rather be emo than start doughing on people, you dummy. You wish you got doughed on me every day. Bro, what? All right, you know what, Rexway? Just take us to the cake queen, bro. This is too sus. All right, Sugar Way, how do you feel about me giving cake queen a big, long rubber thing? Dude, if you don't <laughs> stop right now, I'm gonna clap your cheeks number. What? Don't say that to my sugar skull. Come here! Whoa, whoa, what? What am I to you? Forget this. Let's just go ahead and kill the cake queen. We'll fast forward then. And there we go. We just killed the cake queen, and now we're mastering up pretty high, which is pretty good because I really do like this rubber fruit so far just because the mastery levels for a bunch of abilities are extremely low. So by killing cake queen once, we're already at mastery 156, which means we have unlocked dang nearly all the abilities. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna to go ahead and test that on either spec or sugar way it depends on which one would like a taste of my big rubber long thing then spec to stop like slapping me <laughs> all right so now that we have a bunch of abilities unlocked we're gonna go ahead and put our rubber thing all over spec are you ready spec oh uh, uh, let me get in position uh what, what are you, why are you turning around what are you doing all right spec i can't believe you're standing like that but i'm gonna go ahead and test the cannon on you <laughs> so it's called the z ability and we're gonna go ahead and cannon Oh my gosh, dude, that did 2.6k damage and it sent you flying. All right, now it's time for the next ability. Beck, why do you keep bending over for each ability? You told me to do that. No, I did it. You're doing it at your free will. All right, let's just do the next thing. I can't believe this ability is called smash, but we're going to be smashing Speck. Let's go ahead and do this. Wait, you're going to do what now? Bro, it's not like that. It's literally called smash. Dude, number, I thought you had a girlfriend, dude. Bro, what? You're going to be smashing spec instead? Bro, what? You know what? Let's just do the rush ability on spec now. Okay, the damage is not too crazy. Wait. That actually, that was actually good damage. Hold on. 5,000 damage for the C ability. Though the cannon does have some crazy knockback. If I just hit spec like that, he goes flying. There's also the tap ability, which does pretty good damage on its own. So if I tap, it does 1.8k damage with his hockey on. So that's pretty good. And the cooldown is extremely fast because it's a tap ability. There is still one very important ability, which is called the transformation ability. So I'm actually very curious because I didn't think rubber had a transformation in blocks troops at least. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like once we hit mastery 225. But first, there's one last thing we have to do, which is the slingshot. And this is like a mobility, I'm guessing. So slingshot's probably like he grabs something and yep, he slingshots himself off of it, which is pretty cool. I do like that. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'll see you guys at mastery 225. Um, number? Yes, yeah, Beck? You're not um recording anymore, right? No, no, I paused it. Um, do you like, can you like use the smash ability on me again? Yeah. Bro, what are you doing? Number. Yeah? Can I just, like, leave your server now? No, bro, you have to be tortured, too. If he's doing this to me, you're gonna have to get it done, too. <laughs> ah! 
Also, guys, something I want to point out that we just found out because Spec was shooting me with a gun and realized he couldn't shoot me. So, if you guys forgot from the anime, Luffy can't get shot by guns or damaged by guns, really. Spec, shoot me with that little blow dart gun or that little flamethrower looking thing, poison gun. My ooze gun. Your ooze gun? Okay, that's sus, bro. But look it. He can't even hurt me. The soul guitar is considered a gun in this game, so go ahead and shoot me with that. It does nothing. That's a cool little thing. They actually paid a lot of attention to detail, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure all you guys already knew that, though. But let's go ahead and kill Ligma, anyways. And I actually died to Ligma last second, but we did end up killing him and getting the mastery at the same time. So I'm at mastery 182. We're pretty close to transformation. I don't think I've ever seen anybody transform the rubber fruit, or maybe it doesn't have, a, like, a visual transformation. We're gonna go ahead and find out. So we are finally mastery 225, which means we've unlocked the transformation ability. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, this is interesting. You don't actually change your shape or anything like that. You just get more glowy and you get more stronger, I'm guessing. So we're going to test the first ability on Rectway, which is going to be the tap ability. So let's go ahead and smack him real quick. 1.8k damage, but I think it's a lot faster now. What about the Z ability? So it deals more damage and you shoot them back further and it casts a lot faster. The animation's a lot faster. Next ability we have is smash. Okay, so now you jump up above them and smack them down, which does 3k damage, so that's more damage than before. Now the rush ability. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it changed completely, and it does way more damage. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to murk you that hard, Rex. We dealt 6k damage that fast, and he's not able to get out of it. That is pretty solid. Number, why did you kill me, bro? Bro, I'm sorry, this fruit is just strong. If you keep on trying to kill me, I'm about to use that smash ability that you have on your mom. Okay, buddy, how about this one? Hey, yo, stop! You can't get out of it, bro! Oh my gosh, that damage! 7k damage with just one ability? Hold up, you can't even get away from me. I could just smash you right there. Hey, yo, stop, I don't want that. <laughs> Too bad. And the last ability we have is Slingshot, which is probably upgraded. We could probably go way further and, like, grab things a lot further. That was a little too far. Maybe if we go, like, right here and then try to Slingshot up that, it might send us even further. Oh yeah, that sends us way further. Also, I might be crazy, but it looks like the movement speed's also a little bit boosted. It's a little bit faster than normal, it looks like. And as for the transformation, it doesn't look like it wears off at all. Like, once you transform, you stay transformed until you turn it off with the V ability again. So that's pretty cool. I'm also very curious to see how much damage this would do against a group of people with the Awakened Ghoul V4. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out with a bunch of fans. So I decided to join my server with all my fans, and there was an imposter here with me. He literally looks identical to me but he has angel wings and i'm the ghoul race so we're anti-opposites but he was doing some sus stuff if i turn around for a second look what this guy does bruh bro what are you doing like what all right so i have a bunch of fans with me we're gonna go ahead and damage them up just a little bit in order to get our awakening going so we're just gonna go ahead and smack a couple people here just go ahead and get our damage up real quick so now we're gonna go ahead and awaken over here and now we go ahead and bust out the rubber fruit after we use our heightened sensibility we go ahead and use our rubber fruit here. We're gonna go ahead and just smack a couple people with the rush abilities. It hits multiple people, as you guys can see. It does over 12k damage. If we smash, we can hit everybody near us, which does more damage. I'm just gonna go ahead and smack Rectway over there. So it's not too bad. We haven't even put on transformation yet. So let's go ahead and transform as well and try that again with the damage boost from transformation. So we're gonna go ahead and do a C ability on everybody here. And that damage is stacking up super fast. Oh my gosh, 23k damage with one ability and a smash. And we could go ahead and do that. That is pretty solid. We could also just slingshot away if we really want to. Wait, you could slingshot on players too? Hold up, I did not notice that. Hold up, Rex, let me slingshot on you real quick. Oh my gosh, wait, the slingshot could also be used as attack ability. I didn't even know that till now. But because this fruit has a lot of abilities to stun and push players, you guys can go ahead and combo players pretty easily. And as I'm saying this, I am getting absolutely destroyed by a combo right now. 